What does the sky look like on Mars? Does Mars have clouds and winds like we do on Earth? Today, we'll explore the Martian sky, its evening sunsets, drifting clouds, and even a helicopter flying in its thin air. We'll find the answers to all of these questions together. This photo shows clouds captured on Mars. A lot of people have asked in the comments, Mars barely has any water. How can there be clouds? On Earth, clouds form from billions of tiny water droplets coming together. But Martian clouds have very different properties. Their composition and formation are closely tied to Mars's unique atmospheric conditions. Martian clouds are made mainly of two types of particles, water ice and carbon dioxide ice. When water vapor in Mars's atmosphere gets cold enough, it freezes and forms water ice clouds. These clouds are usually seen near the planet's polar regions, where temperatures are lower. At higher altitudes, it's even colder, so water particles condense more easily into ice clouds. On Mars, these water ice clouds appear white or light gray. On Earth, clouds can also contain ice crystals, but Mars has an unusual feature, carbon dioxide clouds. Mars's atmosphere is about 96% carbon dioxide. During the cold winter months at the poles, carbon dioxide gas can freeze directly into a solid. This creates dry ice clouds with no water at all, a phenomenon you won't see on Earth. These CO2 ice clouds can look transparent or like a light fog. Martian clouds tend to form early in the morning or late in the evening, when temperatures drop and water vapor or carbon dioxide can more easily condense. This photo shows the Martian sky during the day. It has a butterscotch color. Here's an image of sunrise on Mars. And this is sunset, where you can see a bluish glow. On Earth, the sky is blue during the day and turns red at sunrise and sunset. But on Mars, the colors you see are very different. This is because of the planet's unique atmosphere and the way light interacts with its dust. On Earth, the oxygen and nitrogen molecules in the atmosphere scatter blue light, giving us our familiar blue sky during the day. By contrast, Mars's thin, carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere creates skies with a kind of butterscotch or dusty reddish tan color during the day. When the sun is low on the horizon on Earth, its light travels through a longer path in the atmosphere. Shorter blue wavelengths are scattered out leaving the longer red wavelengths to reach our eyes, creating red and orange sunsets. But on Mars, the dust in the atmosphere behaves differently. The dust particles, rich in iron oxide, tend to absorb red light and scatter blue light. So when the sun is near the horizon on Mars, the longer red wavelengths get absorbed, while some of the blue light makes it through the dusty air to reach the surface. That's why, unlike on Earth, Martian sunsets appear bluish. The atmosphere on Mars is about 157 times thinner than Earth's, yet strong winds can still blow across its surface. Here, you can see wind stirring up dust on the Martian ground. You might wonder, if there's barely any air, how can there even be wind? After all, wind is just moving air. It seems logical that with such a thin atmosphere, Mars shouldn't have much wind at all. But even in an atmosphere with only about 1 in 157 of Earth's pressure, strong winds can develop given enough energy. Unlike Earth, 
Mars has extreme temperature swings between day and night. These large differences in temperature are one of the main drivers of wind on the planet. During the day, the Martian surface quickly absorbs heat from the sun, then cools rapidly after sunset. This rapid heating and cooling causes air to move. Hot air rises and cooler air rushes in to take its place. This circulation can create strong winds. Mars's rugged terrain also affects its wind patterns. Large mountains and craters can disrupt airflow or even channel it in ways that strengthen the wind. Sometimes, these winds grow into powerful dust storms that can spread over huge areas. In fact, they can occasionally become so massive that they cover the entire planet. This is a shot of the Ingenuity helicopter flying on Mars. You might ask, Mars has almost no air. How can a helicopter even fly there? Ingenuity's body is only about 14 centimeters tall, but its rotor blades span roughly 1.1 meters. That's much longer in proportion to its size than typical Earth helicopters. The large blades help push more air, creating the lift needed to get off the ground, even in Mars's thin atmosphere. On top of that, the rotors spin incredibly fast, about 40 times per second. This high rotation speed is essential to generate enough lift in the thin Martian air. It's also extremely lightweight, weighing only about 1.8 kilograms. Plus, Mars's gravity is only about 38% of Earth's, which helps Ingenuity stay airborne. Before heading to Mars, Ingenuity was extensively tested in vacuum chambers on Earth that simulated the thin Martian atmosphere to make sure it could really fly under those conditions. Today, this red planet we've been exploring might look like just a tiny dot from Earth, but its significance is so much greater than that. In the tracks left by rovers across Mars's mysterious surface, we see the unbreakable spirit of humanity pushing past its limits. The footprints we're leaving so far from home aren't just scientific achievements. They're steps toward writing an incredible new chapter in human history.